Hello again and welcome back to Fallout 76. Thank you for joining me again. I am Mental Fox. In the last couple episodes, we've been uh, spending some time wandering around the uh, huge Fallout 76 map. And uh, we're finding locations that uh, are not marked on the map, but are interesting nonetheless. I found these locations just through some internet searches. We're going to continue on in this episode looking for more of these locations because I, I think it's fun. Uh, there's one down here somewhere. Um, so uh, let's start walking in that direction and see what there is to see. This one has an interesting uh, description. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see what this is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be on these trains. I don't think it's on the train tracks. I think it's a little bit off. Oh, look, a chicken. Have I taken a picture of a chicken yet? Don't run away, chicken. Okay, that's a crappy picture. And it seemed to have registered. I saw in the upper right-hand corner it said chicken. Did you see that Mr. Handy floating on the train tracks down there? And then he disappeared? I hope you saw that. Let's chicken go, man. I'm faster than a chicken, though. Oh, well. Oh, there he is. No, he did not disappear. Oh, it's Rachel. Uh, Rachel is looking for somebody. Don't remember... Hi. I said hi. There's no telling what new scientific discovery lies around the corner. Mm, too bad. If only you had a recon scope, you could assist me in a scientific endeavor. I don't have a recon scope? I guess I don't. It's funny. She checked my inventory. How rude. And an interest in animal animal behavior. I'm pretty sure we already did that quest. I don't remember what it was called, but I think we did it. I think we did. Okay, what am I looking for here? Somewhere. Not sure exactly where. In that direction. Okay, I'm looking at Seneca Rocks in that direction. Whoa. Well, whatever I'm looking for is actually maybe down the hill here. Chicken. Okay, chicken. Okay, we must have already taken a picture of a chicken. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Whatever. All right, let's start. Um, hmm, maybe this is maybe this right here is exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe this. What do you think? What is this? Is this somebody's camp? Doesn't look like it. This is it. This is what I'm looking for, all right. <laughs> okay. Whoa, it is a long way down, man. I may have to put on the power armor. So it looks like the top of a boat there. Built atop this structure here. We got a canoe. A bunch of, I don't know, buoys. Bobbers things that she used to fish. Interesting. Let me see if we get down here. Without killing ourselves. That'll do it. Oh, what do we got here? Glowing mutant hound. A dead mutant hound. Hmm. Looks like one of those, um, I can't, I can't think of their name right now. Those Chinese things. Somebody's been here, it looks like. It's like a pile of ash there. What are these things called? Liberator. In my head, it was Violator, and I was like, I'm pretty sure they're not called Violators. That's a Depeche Mode album. <laughs> So somebody went through a lot of trouble. Putting all these posts here. So this is a nice place for a camp, really. This is kind of like what I did with my camp. Built on the side of a hill with a nice view. This one, you have a beautiful view of a power plant over there. But hey, if you're into that kind of thing, that's, that's fine. Let's 
kind of check this out. Fun little location. Don't want those. Oh. Well, here's a fishing rod and um, a once uh, inflatable raft. Maybe it's still inflatable, I don't know, but it's not inflated right now. Got some fish hanging here that we can't not cannot help ourselves to, which is a shame. I like this little bell we hear ringing every once in a while. That's kind of cute. I don't see the bell, though. Oh, and then there's like a little fishing thing there. <laughs> I can't, I can't get up there. I really like that bell. Ah, I just like the sound of it. Hmm. All right. Well, we can't get up there. Let's see. Do I have any perks? Uh, I guess I have some leveling up to do. So there's this whole business of getting um, mutations. Um, I am uh, scrolling through a document I've got over here that talks about mutations, I think. At least I hope I wrote, I copied this stuff down. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, class three perk is something that I've been told I'm going to need if I want to do mutations. And I do not have class three, I don't have, uh, not class three, class freak. I don't have that at all. So, uh, luck of the draw, I could remove slight chance your weapon will repair itself when hitting an enemy. Who cares about that, right? And, um, I could also do, um, ser serendipity is another one I could get rid of, even though I've got this one level two. While below 30% health, gain a 30% chance to avoid damage. Well, I normally don't let myself get down, uh, that low health wise. So, um, what I want to do if I'm going to do this mutation thing is get, um, the class freak perk, uh, which I do not have. I do not have any of those. So let us pick a perk and, uh, hope that class freak is one of them. Let's see. Let's scroll through here. Class freak. Let's grab this. The negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 25%. <laughs> That's a great picture. I love that. And now let us equip it. Okay. There we go. So, still have two more um, unused points here. Um, so, as we level up, we will uh, grab more of these class freak things. And, um, up that in anticipation of finally, uh, trying out mutations, mutations in this game. It'd be pretty cool, right? It'd be pretty neat. Okay. There we go. Making this, making a little progress towards that. So, um, interesting little location here. It's kind of neat. I mean, whoever did this, I mean, this is a lot of work carrying all this crap up here and somehow hammering it into that rock. I don't even know how that's possible, but anything's possible in the video game world. Over there in that direction, we're looking at um, Seneca Rocks Visitor's Center. No doubt. Here is Mononga Power Plant Yard. Uh, another um, workbench that I do not remember whether... We claimed or not. I'm wondering if I if I go over here, if I'll be able to make my way back over here, because I think that the next uh, location I want to look at is somewhere around here, I think. There isn't there isn't one nearby. Um, let's go down here and claim this uh, power or this workbench. Why not? And um, maybe we'll get ourselves some new plans. Let's see if I could drop down here without killing myself. Because I'm too lazy to put on my power armor. 
Yep, I think I might have to put it on, huh? Oh no, we might be alright. We might hurt ourselves a little bit, but we'll be okay. We're a, of hardy stock. We'll be okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we'll go down here and uh, we'll claim this uh, workbench. That'll give us an excuse to uh, shoot some enemies, which is something that I said I wanted to do. This being double experience points weak. Take advantage of that a little bit. Have a reason to kill enemies. Something walking around down here. Over there is um, Mononga, the little town of Mononga. I kind of remember this place. Seems like I remember coming here when I was low level and I was doing a quest that took me into Mononga and I remember Seems like I remember there were like a bunch of high-level enemies in here that I was afraid of and I avoided a bunch of maybe high-level super mutants if I'm thinking of the right location. Some locations do kind of start to look the same in this game. <laughs> this firecracker berries. So what have we here? We got this dude here in a wheelchair. Or there's one ghoul, there's usually more, right? They usually travel in packs. Look at this dude sitting in his wheelchair, he's got it like maybe his ham radio here, drinking some beers, listening to the news of the world. It's safe here. May as well help ourselves to whatever's inside of the safe, huh? Ah, or at least try to. Get some rounds. Um, maybe I could take these and maybe uh, scrap them. Maybe I'll learn some things. All right, well. I bid you adieu, good sir. And he's picking up picking up stuff from all over the world. Although he's got some mountains in his way in that direction. So, probably going to be a bunch of enemies we have to clear out before we can claim this um, workbench. But that's okay, we're up to the task, I believe. Claim workshop at Monongah Power Plant Yard. That is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we're, this is an event. We're not going to do this event. I've done this Attention before. Customers. Monongah Power Plant has experienced an unexpected failure. We apologize for the inconvenience. Rest assured that our maintenance crews are working hard to minimize the outage and safely restore power. Based on current projections, most customers should expect power to be restored by... So, uh, not... Not gonna do it. Not gonna do that quest. We are just here for the workbench. This may be tricky, and now that I'm here, I'm thinking that probably did not claim this workbench here. Hey, what's up? He is angry. Look at that. He was coming at us with a purpose. Gosh, his workbench could be up on top of this building. I'm gonna say the workbench is on top of this building. That's what I'm gonna say. I just said it. I said I would, oh no, actually, I'm kinda starting to look like it's right nearby here. I hear it. Hey, Mute, what's up? Is it okay if I call you Mute? Mutey? What are you looking at, dude? my arm <laughs> hey we've leveled up cool <laughs> okay nice I'll take his caps and his rounds 
So this, um... Oh, well... Hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe the workbench is up there. The location marker for the workbench isn't the best I've found. Maybe it doesn't tell me exactly where it is. But, um... When we were standing over there, it looked like it was pointing me in this direction, but now that I'm over here, it looks like it's pointing me back in that direction. Nope, here it is right here. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, good. Nice. All right, let's see if we can't claim this thing. Spend 25 caps? <laughs> okay. This workshop is claimed by Mental Fox. That, to me, looks like uh, one of the sprays uh, when I used to play, like, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's tons of other games that also have sprays, like Team Fortress 2 and stuff like that. But anyway, um, for some reason, this one, <laughs> that glowing thing just reminds me of a spray from uh, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Okay, we've claimed the uh, workshop. There is... Okay, there's not movement over there. I thought there was. We get some circuits, some scraps, bundle, and a plan for painted wooden doors, which I think I already had. Pretty sure we've already got that. I've got some of them in in my house, in my camp. I believe so. Let's see, let me go scrolling through here and all my notes. Yeah, you'll see that there's no plants here. That's because I already knew. What was all this stuff? Mutated flora, okay. Um scroll up to the top here, look at my known plans. Good grief, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so much stuff, man. Oh, what the... Okay, I accidentally clicked on my middle mouse button, sorry. Um, recipes. Plans. I know, I should I should do something with these. Plans for painted wooden doors. Yeah, we already had that. That's okay. That's right. So, I guess we just kind of like hang out here and wait for the game to give us um, the next quest, which will be to defend this thing. And if we defend this thing, uh, we'll get ourselves some uh, some experience points and some um, some plans. Here is some silver. Monaga power plant. That's pretty neat. Here we go. Event: Defend Monaga power plants. An attack is imminent. Prepare your defenses. Let's do exactly that. Let's just start planting some stuff down. Kind of wherever, here, there, everywhere. Man, I, apparently there's still a lot of plans. Oh, I need level two home defense. Oh, okay. Huh. All right, well, I don't have any of that stuff, and I really don't want to spend my points on that. This is not that important. Let's plop some of these down. The perimeter here. I don't know which direction enemies are going to come from. Could come through there. I'm not sure. Could come from behind me over here. Could come from over here. Let's put this over here. Give everybody who comes around the corner there a nice surprise. Put one here as well. I mean, it's just um, circuitry, gears, oil, and steel, of which I have many. So uh, why not put a whole bunch of defenses down? Make life a little bit easier on myself while we try to defend against uh, whatever is on its way here. I still don't know what the difference between the green and the white is up there. Huh, I guess uh, maybe the enemies are starting to arrive. Yeah, defeat the Liberators. And of course they're coming from this direction because I put all my defenses in the other direction. <laughs> I feel like I was in the middle of saying something and I didn't finish my thought, sorry. I'm on their head. Oh well, I guess that's really all there is to hit. 
Okay. It's not quite the whole wave yet. That's the whole wave. Okay, there's one wave down. Might as well help ourselves to some goodies. <laughs> Cracks me up. Of course they come from this direction. That's okay. Okay, here comes another wave. You guys want to come from this direction? Hmm? Hmm? Where all my turrets are? Look at all these freaking turrets. <laughs> just... Well, it's kind of looking like, um... They're going to be here, huh? He's already shooting my turret. Oh, it's getting hairy. Okay, why is my vats not working? Oh, tech on it, I'm thirsty. Hold everything, everybody. Hold on. Gotta take a drink of something. Oh hell, I'm gonna die. Hey, get away from me, you jerk. Almost done with this wave. Oh, no. Jeez, he's standing right in front of that turret. I guess this turret's broken. Alright, we've defeated wave two of four. Oh, sounds like they're coming from this other direction now. Which is maybe good. The turret should take some of these guys out. Turrets are going to town, man. You've decided you made a poor decision, Liberators. You shouldn't have come from this direction. Hey, he's not dead. <laughs> okay, wave three or four was pretty easy. Oh, man, it'd be awesome if the Liberators came from this direction again. And then my turrets um, finished them off like I did here. We'll pick all this stuff up because we could use it to uh, repair... Yeah, cool, they're coming from this direction. I'm not knelt, knelt down anymore. Let's walk back here, let's pull them this way. Into my turrets. <laughs> Look at all the... Okay, they're dead. That was it. That was wave 4 of 4. We finished it. Not too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. What do we get? Oh man, you even get close to that. We have defended the yard. And we get... We get... Uh, right away, stem packs, red X, a plan for advertisement posters, some crystal shards, and some other stuff. Dot, dot, dot. All right, cool. So, that was kind of fun, right? So, um, can I take these with me or scrap them or something? Instead of just leaving them here, because I've just been leaving them behind. Uh, let's see. Switch to modify. Uh, scrap. The thing is, it, you just get some steel scrap, right? Um, cancel. Uh, I can't store it, though. That would be neat if I could, like, store these, and then the next time I did one of these defend defend a workshop things, I could just pull them out of um, storage, but I don't think that that's an option. So, I mean, I might as well scrap them and get the steel back, because uh, there's really no reason for me to leave them here. I don't think so. It is a little disappointing that you don't get anything cooler than just some steel scrap from them, but oh well. Because, I mean, it costs circuitry and 
oil and gears to build them in the first place. But oh well, it's okay. Get a little something back. Whoops. A little too quick on the draw there. Oh, can't loot them when I'm in build mode. I think this is the last one. Okay. Oh, there's one up here. Oh, for some reason I can store this one. I couldn't store the other ones. Eh, whatever. I don't know. Who cares? All right. Well, there you go. We uh, defended a place and we got a couple of plans. Um, it's kind of cool. Now what? Now what? One Violent Night. That's an event we've actually already done before. Is there anything like out here in the world that um, we haven't seen? Make sure I'm walking in the right direction. I'm going to put a marker here. Let's just walk in this direction. See if anything shows up on our map. Let's see. In that direction is a lookout that we have been to. Monongo Overlook. It just seems like this is a big open area. Where you'd think there'd be something on the map. But it's kind of looking like there's not going to be anything out here, huh? Because if there was, I think we'd see it by now. Although, yeah. Because uh, here Ingram Mansion is actually showing up on my compass. And look how far away it is, right? And then... So we're, we're seeing things at least that far away. So if you think of the radius. If there was something in this radius here, right? We would see it. And we're not seeing anything. So I'm going to have to guess that there is nothing undiscovered out here. done a real nice job with the sense of scale here. Look how big that thing looks, man. Look how big that thing is. It's pretty cool. Okay, well I'm going to bring up my map here and I'm going to take a look at my notes and see if there is another uh, location nearby that we could go take a look at. A location that is not on um, the map, not marked on the map. Uh, and actually there is one nearby here. Uh, if I'm looking at this correctly, just north of Bolton Greens. Okay. Um, let me pinpoint this location. Make sure I'm going to the right place. Okay, get back in here. Uh, right around here. Maybe right around there. Let's go there. There is, um, an interesting location over here. Let's go check it out. I can't believe how quiet it is here at this power plant. This... Uh, here's somebody walking around over there. This place is usually, these places are usually full of enemies. Yeah, there's um, a major gutsy up there, pretty high level one. <laughs> really? Okay. Surprised to hear him say that. There is a building down there. I don't think that's what we're looking for. But even beyond that is uh, the town of Monongah, right? Or no, Morgantown, my bad. Monongah's over here. 
I don't think this is the place I'm looking for. I'm feeling like this is a location we visited at one point. Remember, there was a um, Mr. Handy that was trying to deliver a message. I feel like it was these buildings here that we were at. I feel like we've been here already, but we'll, we'll go down and check it out. Yeah, what was it? Um, the Mr. Handy was trying to deliver a message that somebody had won a prize or something, and we came and visited these two houses. We've been here. But I don't... This is... Yeah, th these are not what I'm looking for. But I mean, these are... Um, you know, another example of unmarked uh, locations on the map. But I hope you remember when we visited this place before, I thought it was weird that they had that Wacakami game in here. But uh, this is not what we're looking for. So let's keep moving. Keep going in this direction here. But yeah, I would say that this place certainly fits the description of interesting locations that are not marked on the map. Look at that! <laughs> Super Mutant just standing there in the doorway. Another one over there. I wonder if they're worth taking out. Let's see, we've got a little house or something down there. I don't know, I don't want to walk over there. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find this place I'm looking for. Is that the... This is just a... Another... House here that... Is this... Okay, this is not the one we were just in, but... It's just another... There's like just some... Some cabins here. Okay. Looks like a little farmhouse down here. I wonder if this is what we're looking for. This house here. I'm not sure. It's verdant season in the forest. Enjoy the abundance. What do, what does that mean to me? Am I supposed to do anything with that information? Well, here a uh, super mutant walking around here. How do I get in here? Interesting. I don't know, find all kinds of interesting doors to unlock. Where are you? Level 5 super mutants? <laughs> Alright. You here fighting some liberators. Bunch of, uh... Petrifieds in here. I mean, it looks like they're trying to get to that door, so what, did a Scorch Beast come in here and they were trying to get out? Is that what's up? Here, let me unlock the door for him. Let's let him out. You know, these guys have been waiting here for a long time for somebody to come here and unlock this door. And what, what reward do I get? Well, I get irradiated for helping them out. You know, the thanks you get. So this, I think, is the location that we're looking for. Some 
lit up. Got some electricity here. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pebbles, first cat in space. A bunch of cat balls. More, <laughs> more cat balls. <laughs> Look at all the cat balls, man. Uh, some stew here, looks like. Oh, look at this thing, interesting. I don't believe I've seen that in the game. Maybe I have. A stuffed cat head. <laughs> okay. Little teddy bear there. Well, not a great view. Got a big old electrical pylon right out in your front yard. <laughs> Cats. Oh, 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 there's a bunch of different types of them. Look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a ton of them. There's more of them there. Cat, cat paintings. Cat heads. Oh, little cat playing with the toy rocket ship there. So obviously what we found here is a crazy cat lady's house. Everybody knows a crazy cat lady, right? Bunch of... I want to call them cat traps, but I guess maybe they could just be cat carriers, huh? This big mirror here. Nothing uh, too cat related in here aside from a few bowls. And then there's a baby crib here. And a bed out here. Oh, don't. Do cats smother babies or something? Is it. Man, I didn't even notice these were on the walls down here, too. Is that a thing? Like cats get in a baby's crib and could smother the baby? Is that a thing? Why do I think that? Well, there you have it. It's a house where uh, once upon a time many a cat lived, it would seem, huh? Little garage over here that we can't get into. I hate that we can't get into the garages. <laughs> Let me move my cursor all, cursor all around here. Who knows? Maybe all this time I've been able to unlock those doors and I didn't even know it. But it doesn't look to be the case, does it? Okay, so. Crazy Cat Lady home here we found. An interesting unmarked location. This one... I mean, I guess it's, you know, outside of the town there. So I guess it's off the beaten path. Um, Feral Ghoul down there somewhere. Alright, well, there you go. Uh, in that direction, we're looking at Morgantown. No workbenches in there to claim. There's one over here, Gorge Junkyard. Don't know whether we ever claimed that one or not. Uh, let me look at my map here and see if there's any other locations nearby that we want to go check out. Oh man, did I close my map? Well, that was dumb of me. Why did I do that? Um. <laughs> All right. Well, crap. Let me get back to the game here. Well, um, take a look at the compass, spin around, not seeing any previously undiscovered locations. I'm wondering if I want to walk all the way over there and do that, claim that thing. I don't know if I do or not. Let me check something. Let me bring my map up again. I had to wait for my... 
hard drive to spin up. I don't know why I closed my map. Okay. So we are just north of... Um, well, we're just actually east of uh, Morgantown, right? So... Gosh, where the heck is that on the map? Okay. Wow, there, yeah, there's not anything around here for quite a ways. At least at what I'm looking at. Um, hmm. Yeah. So, what we'll do... Is, um... Okay, something related here. Let me, uh... Let me make sure I'm going to the right place. Sorry, this is taking me a moment. It's it's a big map. Okay. Alright, so... We are going to fast travel... To... Here. To Beckwith Farm. I like that picture. That's a cool picture. I've worn this outfit for a very long time in the game. It, it works. It works out fine for me. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I'm gonna go pick this thing up to shut him up. Stingwing. Still haven't found a rat ant for crying out loud. Okay, this thing that I'm looking for is like... Right here in these hills, I think. Over in this direction. Beckwith Farm is where we are. Listen to that sound effect. So, let's see if I could find what I'm looking for here. Where am I on the map exactly? Okay, we're right here. And uh, I believe I'm going to the right place. Let me look at my other map again real quick. Just to make sure.
Well, at some point, I don't know when I did it, but at some point I muted my microphone. I didn't, I didn't, I must have done it accidentally when I was switching back and forth between um, screens or something. So, I'm sorry, I have no idea how long it's been muted. I have no idea. Uh... <laughs> I have I have no idea. It could have been muted this entire time that I visited this. I'm very sorry. I'll find out how long it had been muted in um, when I edit this episode, and maybe I'll insert some commentary. I don't know. But anyway, crazy cat lady lookout is what this place is called. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's actually related to the the crazy cat lady, but there are a bunch of cats here, and it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, let me know what you think about uh, exploring these um, undiscovered locations. Uh, hope you're enjoying it. If you are, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me again in the next episode.